welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and today in the arena we are checking out a five-color Niv-Mizzet Reborn control list. Yeah, I can't seem to get enough out of Niv-Mizzet Reborn, and it's become sort of my, my shot of whiskey, my toast of champagne when I make the mythic rank and no longer have to care about the ladder. I can do ridiculous things and have fun. So uh, we did that yesterday, finished it off playing the Kethis the Hidden Hand deck that you should have seen a video of one day prior to this one if everything comes out the way it's supposed to. That deck is bonkers and the mythic came rather easily. Also on that note, my second day sponsored by CoolStuffInc.com. Please check them out. Promo code CGB for 5% off. Consider giving them a shot at your business if you do paper magic, board games, any other cool stuff. And there was a giveaway. I'm going to be choosing the comment I like the best from the comments on the video for the Hidden Hand deck. So the thing is, I can't announce the winner of that giveaway till I see those comments and I record about two days in advance, about two days in advance. So with that in mind, it's gonna be a few days till you hear those comments. Now to make matters a little crazier, I have to go out of town for the weekend. I'm going to be gone Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I can record on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So I need to bank four extra videos. So it may be a while before you hear the winner of that $25 gift code to coolstuffinc.com, but trust me, that's only because of my recording schedule, not because of anything you have done wrong or uh, I have not forgotten about it, I should also stress. Anyway, video, things, let's get right to it. What am I doing? Well, we have a whole bunch of multicolor removal spells, all of them really, an Assassin's Trophy, Bedevil, Deafening Clarion, Kaya's Wrath, and Time Wipe to go with Niv Mizzet Reborn as our card draw engine, backed up by Hydroid Crasis as our other card draw engine, and Tome of the Guild Pact. Whenever you cast a multicolored spell, draw a card. So this, this is another card draw engine that for a deck that honestly probably doesn't need it, but this did start out as a deck I wanted to build around Tome of the Guild Pact. That's why it is here. And then we have Thought Erasure to clear the way, because what's the point in keeping a hand built around Chromatic Lantern when they blow up your Chromatic Lantern with Bedevil? Sometimes you got a Thought Erase. And then... The mana base is a singleton mana base. <clears throat> so if you are ever building a five color singleton deck, you may want to try out this mana base. We've got one of each basic. I think we have about one of each duel or check land. We have an evolving wilds and a gateway plaza. Boom, done. I'm not saying it's best. I'm saying it's 26 lands that should be able to get things played. A very high land count because the idea is my cards are so powerful that as long as I get to cast a big Hydroid Crisis and a niv Mizzet Reborn and a Tome of the Guild Pact, I should be able to get through whatever mana floods we have and outpower the opponent. Let's go do some nonsense. Alrighty, Blood Crypt, but we can't Fortress after the Blood Crypt, so we have to wait on the Thought Erasure, but we have the mana for this Clarion, but not the mana for these trophies. I think we can give this a shot. I'm going to play this tapped, then we can Shock for Blood Crypt and Thought Erase if we want to. Tranquil Cove. Well, that's always either Scape Shift or some delusional blue-white player. Delusional Esper player, got it. Well, I'm not afraid of you. These don't do much. This and this are annoying. And I have another Thought Erasure, so we'll grab the cheaper one first. Bedevil. Can't cast it with our current mana. Let's say goodbye. Dismal Backwater. The delusion continues. All right, let's get that Jace. Come here, Jace. Come to me. More Bedevil. Nice uh, two pair in the graveyard here, but we haven't found more land. And remember, we run 26 lands. We run four Chromatic Lanterns. We run three Tome of the Guild Pact. Getting land should not be this deck's problem. Tilt. But we double thought erasured. We should be just happy with how this is going. And there's a mana fixing machine, Gateway Plaza. All right. 
Make stuff happen. We can bet our opponent has some thought erasure somewhere themselves. Okay, there's a hero. We held out for a hero. Our opponent has a Tyrant Scorn. Let's go ahead and get our Chromatic Lantern down. The opponent will play a Deputy to take it. Then we can Clarion them both. The Tyrant Scorn can save the hero, of course, which will be one of the uh, problems. We'll see. What do you think? Do they run basic land in their deck? Do we want to just go mana base ham? I might, because if they don't have a basic land, they don't, they're not able to leave up Tyrant Scorn. Could be saucy. Ooh, passing turn, huh? Well, we'll make you play that Tyrant Scorn, I guess. Go ahead. Bounce Yakrita. That way you can't blow up this Hydroid Crisis when it comes down and takes over. I mean, I guess you still have a Mortify and all, but... One less weapon for the opponent. And no land. Okay, well, I'm still not running out the Crisis. I'm waiting until I have more mana. That could be a mistake because Thought Erasure is a card. They haven't had it yet. They could draw it at any time. But I really want two cards off my Krasis, at least. Cards will matter a lot in this matchup, I think, since we haven't drawn a card advantage engine yet, and we have a big density of mana and mana sources in our deck. So the card advantage engines are key. You've got to be kidding me right now. You have got to be kidding me. I even knew it could happen, but there you go. You give them a window, they jump through it, don't they? Mmm, shocking to... And you kept the top card, so we know their top card's legit. We could just trophy this. It would shuffle... If they take the land, it shuffles their top card, but they might not have a land anyway, so I don't like that. There we go. Hello. Hello, big guy. One of you, one of you, one of you. One of you. Done. How you doing? <laughs> Alright, what don't we need? What's the narrowest here? I feel like the Clarions hit most of what we need to hit. I feel like Time Wipe does what we need it to do. The Kaya's Wrath is probably the narrowest card here. I should have thought about that before I even picked and left it in the deck for later instead of having to discard it here. That would be next level play to just not select that particular card that I would discard anyway. And yeah, we know about Mortify. We know all about how Mortify works. So what did the opponent keep on top? Is it a fairy? What you got? It's not that land. Oath of Kaya? That's what you kept? That's aggro. Hello. First let's sweep these babies. Now things are shaping up. That deputy's hiding over there, though. And the opponent with another land off the top. I'm gonna try something. I wanna know if my opponent runs basics or not. I wanna I wanna find out. We're gonna we're gonna have too many cards in our hand anyway. You run basics. You don't run basics. If I play you again, we're going straight after your mana. Turn to Stone Rain like a G. All right. Well, gonna over refill our hand with the Reborn. So here, Krasis, Krasis. Well, actually, no. We don't want to do Krasis because it can be taken by the Deputy. So we'll do this, and we only need two cards. That's what I'll try to remember. <laughs> And the deck understands me. Two cards I get. Bolus's Citadel. Go nuts. Here we go. Nice top deck. Let's see what the opponent can make with it. Boom, Mortify. You did it. What else? Where, where's like the 15 Planeswalkers you'd put into play? Anyway. Uh, I guess the Bee Devil's probably the best thing to kill it, so save the trophy for something else, but I can play the Tome right now. It's... hmm. I'm playing the Tome. 
I like the tome. Tome and I are friends. Draw a card. For all multicolor spells. No! Not my tome. Rude. Still get up a card, though. Get that citadel out of here. Fourth dismal backwater. Gotcha. I know. Those those rare lands are... They... They're... they're it's hard to craft those rare wild cards on lands. I know. I know. My free-to-play account feels the pain every time. All right. Goodbye, Deputy of Detention. Now that you're gone, the Hydroid Crisis can roam free. But we can also just play this Nib Mizzet. We only need one card off of him. Ta-da! How do you always know what to get me, Nib Mizzet? Our deck's not going to have good cards left in it before long. This is probably a land. I think our opponent would play almost anything, but... What are we doing with this? Not much. Another deputy. Okay, that makes sense, I suppose. Now let's see if we can start beating our opponent up with the 6-6, six -six, or if they're going to top deck more obnoxious removal. Closing is all about these big monsters. But big monsters aren't exactly invulnerable. A lot of bad things could still happen. Here's a hero. You're gonna need a hero. Alright, we'll go for lifelink too, just as a real smash em up. Dovin's veto, sure. Love it. Plenty more where that came from. Go away. Lifelink to my critters. Smash. Your go. So that's why we didn't play the tome first, because any kind of veto I wanted to make sure I was still going to be able to clarion. And there's the scoops. We've got Lantern and Tome into Krasis. We're on the play. We're going to need to draw removal and sweepers, but our deck's full of them. What are we getting with this? White, blue, red, green. We're getting black. Three basics can be awkward. It means we can't cast some of our things until Lantern comes down, but it's okay. I think we'll be all right. But let's see what our opponent has for us. Of course, that has a lot to do with the situation, and perhaps we are up against Grixis. Grixis is all about the top decks. They're going to Thought Erase and Bolus and tear our hand apart. So it all comes down to the what are the best cards you can draw off the top of your library, which we can we sometimes do okay in that regard. Also, if we get to keep a Tome of the Guild Pact on the table and they don't bedevil it, that's really solid too. As that can draw a lot of cards. Really? Turn 3 Thought Erasure. You're doing it wrong. The opponent just didn't want to take damage? I'm really curious what they take. Obviously, Niv is a total reload with a body. Tome can be a huge card advantage source. Krasis. Interesting. Means they might have another Thought Erasure. If they have another Thought Erasure, what am I supposed to do? Play the Tome or the Niv Mizzet? I think I play the Niv. Just to have the body down that they have to respect or they take damage. Woohoo! Buddy! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can discard the lands. Although, actually, I probably don't need a Clarion ever, do I? How about a Time Wipe? Do I need that? Probably not. Although it can get back the Niv and play it again. So how about I keep one land? And getting the Clarion out of my deck that time is definitely not a misplay. We don't want to draw it later. So, goodbye. Can we have a Niv versus Bolus fight? That would make my day. <laughs> I don't wish to surrender right now, Narset, but thank you. You do make my Tome of the Guild Pact worse, which I don't appreciate. 
All right, well, Niv can take you out. So it's fine. And we see the opponent as a dragon god who's about to come down, but we can tome and thought erase it. So that's sexy. We have to attack the Narset first though, or the tome won't draw us a card. Hey, yeah. <laughs> you, you have no idea how mighty I am. Um, yeah, you come in untapped. Mana can tap for any color. We're on easy mode, thanks to the lantern. Draw a card, the only way to make thought erasure better. Goodbye, Nicole Bullis. Yeah, hello, Assassin's Trophy. Your turn. <laughs> so I had the upkeep stop in case I was going to use the tome on upkeep to blow up the Narset and attack for six, but I decided attacking the Narset with the Niv was just better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you can't thought er Oh yeah, you have a Sulfur Falls. You can thought erase me. Go ahead. My poor Hydroid Crassus. Whatever will I do? I'll have to draw all these other cards with my Tome of the Guild Pact. Do you think our opponent runs basics? I feel like we've asked this question before. Oh yeah, in the last game. Let's, let's find out. Our opponent kept their card on top. So if I point at your land, what do you do? I want to see if our opponent shuffles or not. So I could have, should have attacked, for some reason I forgot to attack Narset there to draw the card with Tome of the Guild Pact. I got too excited. All right, you did fetch. You gave up that top card. I think I just play this and cycle it, but I should have gained the life. I don't know. Let's see, our opponent can't deal with Niv right now anyway. Let's just pass the turn. A few misplays that turn. I should have attacked first. Well, I guess if I played this, I wouldn't draw a card anyway until I attacked because of the Narset. So maybe it's not as bad as I'm making it out to be. What's your mystery card? Is it any good? It's no good? All right. Lifelink. Yes, more life. Why not? We could bounce our Niv. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more land and we can bounce Niv and replay Niv on the same turn. Could be fun. Lotus Field, sacrifice two lands. I should totally blow up one of your lands, just for the lulls. Can't sacrifice this land. See how many basics you have in this deck. Thought Erasure, cool. So remember, the Lotus Field has Hexproof. I can't target the Lotus Field, or I would. And now we're out of basics, sweet. Yes, we're going to destroy all your manas. Another time wipe. Let's erase your brain. The hand can't be too good. Yeah, and it's not, but uh, Elder Spell, we don't have Planeswalkers. Cry of the Canarium, we don't have small creatures. Cast Down, we have Hydroid Crassus, so I guess Cast Down it is. Don't need more of you. And we'll play you. Give me that sweet, sweet lifelink. Draw that card. Another Niv. Niv versus Bolas. It's straight out of the lore from War of the Spark. Or not even War of the Spark, right? The set before Ravnica Allegiance. Oh no, you came back for War of the Spark, didn't you? Anyway, I haven't finished that book. Liliana. Sure, make me sacrifice my Niv. Feels bad, man. But, we got gotcha. you. We'll just keep picking you off. And we'll reborn. Keep it reborn up in here. Another thought erasure. Alright, what do we not need? What would we only discard? Right now, everything's a cycle. But, I guess I'm fine with discarding this stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six. I definitely want you, and I definitely want you. 
So I guess I'll leave, I can leave these in the deck. Oh wait, I don't get a choice. <laughs> I don't get a choice. <laughs> All that thinking for nothing. That's what I get. All right. To cycle or not to cycle? I just end up decking myself quicker. Still. Take your Elder Spell in case you can do some shenanigans. Ultimating your bolus sooner. Cycle you because I can. Nah, we'll hold it. The Kaya's Wraths have almost no purpose. And we can leave mana up to do instant speed shenanig shenanigans. 24 cards to go, though. And like I said, our opponent can grind us out. If they just kill all of our niv Mizzets and all of our Hydroid Krasis, we can't really win. That's obnoxious. So, I can't target my own trophy first. I should blow it up now, I guess. Nice mass manipulation, homie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's play this for eight so it represents lethal. The opponent will have to top deck. What's better than a Krasis? A Krasis that draws an extra card. Four cards, huh? One, two, three, four. Now we're down to where our deck is pretty much all land. And we're just trying to get one of our big monsters to break through. If our opponent can draw, like, Removal after removal after removal after removal, we might lose, but nope. They could not do it. So we'll take that one away from the Grixis player. Tap lands, Chromatic Lantern, Assassin's Trophy, Niv. We're going to be looking for a really good top deck to turn this from bad Mardu control into a functional deck, but I think it's worth keeping. The deck doesn't get much better, you know what I mean? Is this... are we playing this Esper control list again? Did I play this person before? I think I did. That or a Dismal Backwater and Tranquil Cove are really coming into favor. Tap land, tap land, tap land. Tap land. Not a single land has entered the battlefield untapped in this game. Let's go for this one. Veto. Okay, it's all looking like somebody I played before. We can't play the plaza now. If we do, it will sacrifice itself because we don't have a mana to pay. If the lantern resolved, we would have had that mana. Any other tricks? Just Kaya my face. All right. It's... Here we go. And here we go. Still keeping up our streak. No lands have entered the battlefield untapped in this game on either side. This is this is cooperation. Really, dude? Really? Really? If, if this is the same person, they have no basics. They ain't basic enough. So I could replay the lantern and fire off a Bedevil or a, or a um, Trophy. I guess there's no harm in firing off a Trophy. Our opponent could have the dreaded Veto. Okay, they don't. We could also just fire off a Niv, but I think I like dealing with this first. Our opponent probably has Thought Erasure though. Plus, I, this way I get to keep it up. No untapped lands. No all lands enter the battlefield tap. There's your new format for Arena. Everybody would love that. Skylands OP. All right. Bouncing your oath of Kaya. Are you shooting my face with it? You are. All about that card advantage. Yes, the streak continues. Okay, I may have to end the streak here. I don't know. 
Probably best to do this and thought erase my opponent, to be honest. If I can find one or to trophy away the Teferi. So we'll go here. Hello. It's a lot of Hydroid Crassus for this game. All right, time to end the streak. It was fun while it lasted. We had an agreement. All our lands came into play tapped. We played the slowest possible magic, but now that's over. The, the agreement is done. I have broken the pact. Sure. Totally. Three cards left. Are any of them good? Another Oath of Kaya for my face. Yes. I love the aggressive uh, tone of just Oath your face every turn. It's glorious, really. Tome. And the opponent tapped out, so we can kill the hero if we wish. But I don't really need the cards. Actually, let's do this. Let, yeah. we're, we're good with this play. It's fine. It's okay, it's not great. And there's still a chance that Teferi can come down in multiples and make my life hard, but with the opponent on two cards, I think it's a safe play to just get rid of the hero, hold the time wipe for if things go awry, and continue to make our hand and our setup great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, let's do this for six. Get some of that life back. Neutralize one of those Othakaias to the face. Pile up some land. Play this. And discard some of that land, of course. Don't need you anymore. Don't need another land that might enter the battlefield tapped or hurt me. And then Crassus can get to the job of just beating the opponent up. Yes. Yes. Oath the face. Oath the face. Oath the face. Good old Esper Burn. Get him. Ah, we'll play. Which one is better to play in this spot? I guess another Crassus so we actually don't get burned out by Esper. Plenty of lands to discard still in this deck. One, two, what else? Probably don't need a Kaya's Wrath when I'm smashing face. And I don't think Thought Erasure is good anymore. Our opponent's completely out of playables. So away with you. You're gonna wipe the board somehow. Or you're just getting really feisty with those tokens. Look at all the life they've gained from Oath of Kaya's and their Enter the Battlefield lands. Madness. Oh, okay. The tokens were just being feisty. Alright, the opponent might be trying to lure me in, get me to play enough threats to make his or his or her sweeper better. So we'll wait. You have an elite guard mage. There's that citadel. All right. That's getting nuked. I promise you that. Let's see. As soon as the opponent puts something on the stack, that thing's blowing up. Bang. All right, my turn. Maybe after I get, you know, the man the obligatory punch from the token. Let's grab some lifelink to go with this Crassus. Part of the same uh, menu and keep it coming. Do we play another Niv to hang out with our Crassus and put lethal on the board? I think we do.
Bam, bam. <laughs> stay, stay classy, San Diego. All right. Gotcha. And we don't need to bin anything here because we don't want a deck. It's like my new priority in life. All right, two cards. You can definitely be one. You can be another. We'll just hang out over here with some hit everything spot removal, some more giant monsters, and the opponent's on their way. I would love to play a few more games and get some aggro matchups for you because I think the deck might be okay, especially with Deafening Clarion and Kaya's Wrath in the deck, but I have to record my two-a-days so that I can take a vacation and make sure that you never miss a video while I'm away. So I've got to go record my next deck. I hope that you enjoyed this deck. As far as tuning, um, it'd be nice to throw in a Banefire or something, some some kind of reach, some way to go way over the top. Uh, maybe a Finale, uh, the blue one, so that you can reshuffle if the opponent kills all your creatures. I found that to be a concern, but it didn't come up in the games. And the deck is for fun, so don't overthink it. If you didn't enjoy the video for some reason, don't worry, there'll be a new deck tomorrow. A deck a day is my promise. Thank you to my sponsor, Cool Stuff Inc. And please consider liking, subscribing to the channel. It really does help me out. The comments help me out. And finally, thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.